Yo, check it out! Have you all seen Insomniac Miles in Mr. Symbiote's suit over here? I swear, they're like the stand-up comedians of the multiverse. Oh, you mean the one with the Adidas-sponsored suit? What was it called again? The Colgate suit? Adidas. More like fake ass, if you ask me. Oh, you want to drag me into this mess? I dare say it's the funniest thing I've heard all day. <laughs> Seriously, Pete? Did you get that symbiote from a thrift store at a monster yard sale? This is none of your fucking business. Can't believe you guys called it Colgate. You should have named it Cringegate. Come on, Penny, it's not that bad. Bright colors? That's a bold move, Miles. I prefer to blend into the shadows, not announce my presence from miles away. Hold on a minute, guys. Doc Miles' suit is unique. And Adidas sponsorship is a big deal. It's all about style and comfort. Thanks, Hobie. Finally, someone who appreciates fashion and functionality. Seriously, though, it's like they ran out of ideas and decided to slap a brand on it. Oh, look who's talking. Miles, your suit looks like a bleeding armpit. And those Jordans are totally fake, like your presence in the multiverse. Hey, these are legit. Unlike your Colgate suit, it has more neon colors than a Las Vegas billboard. I know that I'm the noisy Parker, but those two Miles, they're walking chaos machines. Genuine bricks in the butt. Are you serious? Get out of my face before I crush you with my feet! Say one more word and I will beat the shit out of you like I did to your animal twin. And Miles, prepare yourself. I'll hunt your ass after the ending of this show. Chill out, folks. Miles is just trying to express himself. And I must say, it's not that bad. Miles, my friend, I thought my costume was colorful, but yours takes the cake. Your suit designed worse than the way you said chai tea, you fucking idiot. Nobody told your feminine ass to speak. Paviter. It's just funny how everyone always roasts me about my exposed hair. But when he does it, everyone reacts so nicely. Maybe it's because his hair suits him, unlike yours. Yours looks more like SpongeBob's pineapple house. <laughs> Sorry, Miles. But hey, at least you're unique, right? The SpongeBob of the Spider-Verse. Yeah, it's like a bird's nest up there. Ha, huh, very funny. But hey, at least I'm not wearing a suit made of literal punk rock. Blimey, you daft twit. Let me inform you, me suit's a symbol of defiance and uniqueness, unlike your human advertisement, mate. And old chap, you've earned every bit of this roasting session. It's crystal clear that you suits cost us the game award. What's with everyone incessantly getting on our fucking nerves lately? Your webs won't save you from my roast. Peeny, your suit looks like a Japanese school uniform from a discount cosplay store. Plus, you're just an imitation of Evangelion Shinji. A poor imitation of the real deal. <laughs> and Miles, your chai tea pronunciation is the real crime here. And you're so spider-friendless, even J. Jonah Jameson would give you a like on Facebook. And Pavature, you're like the feminine version of Spider-Man. I bet you spend more time fixing your hair than fighting crime. And Hobie, are you Mario's distant cousin, Mediocre Mario? Cause that star power isn't fooling anyone. And Noir. I heard you have a no-smiling policy. Should I send you a joke book to lighten the mood? <laughs> Symbiote Peter, your roasts are like a symphony of destruction. I'm proud to call you my symbiote partner. And Gwen, at least you make villainous hearts skip a beat before you knock them out cold. I'll take that as a compliment. Pete, that suit is changing you. You need to take off the suit. Well, Miles, you can kiss the blackest part of my symbiotic ass. The truth is, I'm the hero here, not you. <laughs>